Well, hello there. It's me, the Duff, and welcome back. <laughs> Green screen effect. Yeah. I don't have a studio anymore, but I can make this green screen whatever I want. The biggest issue is it's hard for me to do these all the time because I'm in the kitchen. Let's hop right into the memes, eh? <laughs> Alright. As I said before in previous videos, an issue I'm coming up with is I just don't have enough ideas. It takes me a while to come up with them and make them really work. But I'm getting there, and with the amount of time I have, it's, it's hard. Because a lot of these memes and all these funny things become irrelevant really fast. Like the Jeffrey Epstein thing, or the, uh... And the OK Boomer! Okay, I guess it's still kind of funny. But a lot of these memes and internet things die really fast, and I don't have time to get to them in time. So have to find timeless things. Like, 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 like something dank like this. Sender Dankus memes. Okay, Pikachu, for the last time, use Thunderbolt. Oh. Jesus. I'm really tall. See, so, so this is what pisses me off my bathtubs, man. Like, we're too tall to do New Sonic trailer came out, and wow! Sonic looks way better. And the movie does not. <laughs> I said this before, and I'll say it again. Just because you redesigned Sonic doesn't mean it's gonna be a good movie. Because it's not. Let's be honest here. You'd be like, well, Jim Gears or Bionic's a good idea. Yeah, but the lines he has are terrible. It's like, they're equivalent to. I'm not touching you. I, I, I'm, I'm not touching you. It's, 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 it's too juvenile, and, but, I'm gonna say anyway, because I know it's gonna be a train wreck. We all know it's gonna be a train wreck, but at least Sonic, he looks better. <laughs> a lot friggin' better. And I think this movie would just be just a little bit more tolerable to see, but I, I, I gotta see this train wreck. I really need to. But, you know, if you, I do have some ideas, though, they could put in the movie, I can guarantee they're not in it, but they need some values and some, like, a side plot in this movie to make it one of the best movies ever. Alright? So they're gonna have, I'm thinking, romance. Sonic himself needs some romance. And we, we have an inclusive, too, and a yin-yang element. And all this coming together will make a nirvana of movies. The enlightened place of absolute beauty. What I'm talking about is Sonic and Shadow. Because there's never enough romance between hedgehogs, okay? Especially gay hedgehogs. Because everyone knows gay movies are the best because they're inclusive for the sake of being inclusive. And it'll make a lot of fan artists really, really, really happy. Really <laughs> happy. I mean, seriously, if this was in the movie, I would. I would buy it. I'd buy the DVD and just. Freaking troll people with it. They will never expect this coming out of the box. <laughs> Look at him going! Oh god. Oh my. But of course, romance between Sonic and Shao just. it isn't good enough. Who have we always wanted to see Sonic together with for a long time? Of course, his arch nemesis, Shrek. Yeah, we both want to see Shadow and Shrek get together too. I just realized the Becker can hear the fridge going on. I love this spot. 
Oh man, at the topic of topic of relationships, we all need one, especially me. But sometimes <laughs> there are stories about people being polyamorous without telling anybody, especially their boyfriend. All of a sudden, like, oh hey, this is Brandy, she's my girlfriend, and they'll be like, I thought we were. Oh no, I have two girlfriends, I'm polyamorous now. Don't bring your che don't use poly to bring your cheating ass over. That's not an excuse. If you're exclusive, you're exclusive. Don't try to bring other people to this party. Go, what the hell? Like it was before stated, fine, but don't just bring them up. But there is a really good way in order to really get the situation in. Dude, stop messaging my girlfriend. Our girlfriend. YouTube's in trouble though. Um, it's not just me, because I'm not doing YouTube as much. I know, how would YouTube survive without me? But there is just, the ads are getting unbearable. These double ads are gratingly annoying. So like, another thing about YouTube is, you know what, I'm done talking about YouTube. Let's talk about something positive. Let's talk more about love. Sometimes love is all about being confident. And that's how a lot of these chads get the girl. That's how they swoop in and take the girls up with their fuckboy attitudes. It works. Except for me. Because I'm the doof. Please like me. But we got the miraculous. Milf Hunter 9. He's coming for your mother. He's gonna fuck the shit out of your mother. Your mom will be the walk ever. You better watch out. This man will make you another brother. This man will make your grandma moan and moist. moist. So you do not want to mess with Milf Hunter. Because he will fuck your mom. Like he fucked mine. Now speaking of ancient rocks, that is your mother. There is something that's coming back. And some people are excited about it. I have no idea why. But there is a Ruby Row movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a new Scooby Doo movie coming up. They released a trailer like a few days ago. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're all very excited about it. I'm even stoked. And I don't even care that much about Scooby Doo, but I'll probably see this one because I have to. <laughs> it could be a complete train wreck. But like Sonic. I like to see train wrecks. But anyway, this movie is about Shaggy and Scooby growing up, at least a little bit. And uh, and how Shaggy met Scooby, which is something I've always wanted to see. I'm pretty sure there are already videos and like movies and stuff that already explain that, but I haven't seen them because I don't feel like watching Scooby. -Doo. But think about the possibilities though, guys. We have to learn how Scooby learned how to talk, how he and Shaggy like fell in love and just became best friends right off the bat. And and the most important part is when Shaggy takes ownership. Scooby getting his shots, you know, Shaggy paying the bills, going super broke buying dog food for a huge dog like Scooby. Neutering Scooby. See ya, Scoob. Right, righty. What's happening? You should have seen this coming. Wait, no. Raggy! My balls, Raggy! This is what happens when you pee on the carpet. Breathe, Raggy! No! No, Raggy, breathe! Like, man, you better calm down, Scoop, or you're gonna get the taser. No more balls! Now that you've had your jinkies removed, maybe you'll stop humping Daphne's leg. <laughs> we really soinked him on that one. Man, so many surprises. So many good things going on lately. But I was in a really good mood. Everything's just going by really good. And I, I freaking love it. I mean, if you want to be in a good mood? Here, here's what put you in a good mood. Wheel of Fortune. Who doesn't like Wheel of Fortune? It's College Road Trip Week. Pat Sajak and Vanna White. I'll see you later. Do my best. Hi! Welcome to show business. 
Uh, obviously, uh, we got some uh, college activity going on, but let's start with a toss-up. Grab those devices. One thousand dollars at stake, and the category is, oddly enough, college life. And it's Doug. Surprise, motherfucker. Yep, that's it. Nice job, Doug. Be sure. All right. With that all being said, I had a good time. It's good to be back. Making mediocre content. This didn't turn out as good as I was hoping. But this is why you gotta surprise me. I already had these all prepped out, and is there better when I just fly off the handle for these? So anyway, go to the Glorious Do Facebook webpage. Freaking give me some goddamn memes! So fucking scribe! <laughs> go to the Glorious Do Facebook page, post some of them spicy dank memes. Mm. Subscribe and like this video. Put on a comment, let me know you actually fucking watch this thing. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys the next Angry Joe Show.